Professor John Pierce of Cardiff University in Wales examines the mind of the humble pigeon. The pigeon learns that pecking at pictures of trees brings food, while pecking other pictures does not. Food. No food. Food, no food. The pigeon learns the 30 pictures of trees that mean food. Now the critical part of the test. Professor Pierce gives the pigeon a new set of images. To recognize this picture that it's never seen before, the pigeon must have a concept of trees in its head. So do pigeons have concepts? The answer is yes. The pigeon compares this picture with its mental concept of a tree and correctly rejects the fern. To further test the pigeon's understanding of concepts, scientists showed them pictures by Picasso and Monet. They quickly learned that only Picasso meant food. But could they form a concept of Picasso's painting style? The scientists presented the pigeons with pictures they hadn't seen before. They pecked at the new Picasso and rejected the Monet. Matisse's style is more like Picasso's than Monet's, so he got pecked. Art students often confuse Matisse and Picasso too. It seems that pigeons do have concepts and rather similar to our own. Could their minds really work like ours? To test that, Professor Pierce has given his pigeons and his students the same problems. So what I want to do in today's practical is to give you a feel for the sort of experiments I've been doing with my pigeons, and what I want you to do, in fact, is to solve, or try to solve, some of the problems that I've given my pigeons. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a set of patterns on these television screens. Some of the patterns will be followed by a tone, and some will be followed by nothing. The test is to predict which pattern is followed by a tone, and which is not. Join the students and the pigeons and try and work it out for yourself. Is this followed by a tone? What about this? And finally, this pattern. How did you do, compared to the students and the pigeons? The pigeon may know a Picasso from a Monet, but it can't solve this test. It pecks hopefully at all the patterns, not realizing the answer is simple, equal to. Now try to predict the answers in this next experiment. If you're struggling, you're not alone. How many of you think you've got the solution to the problem? Oh dear, that's not many. Do some of you think you might have got it? No? Okay, well I don't want to put any pressure on you, but by this stage my pigeons are normally doing quite well. And the answer? Small area of color, tone. Large area, no tone. The pigeons find this test easy. They quickly discern the visual distinction between large and small areas. We, however, search for meaning for relationships, so we fail to see the simple solution. The pigeons can't grasp the concepts of equal to or greater than. This is the realm of abstract thought, and it may be beyond the pigeon mind. 